and Ruiz, your accounting coach, survival tips. But I would like to discuss with you the 8% optional income tax. Ano ba tong 8% na to? Ano tong 8% optional income tax? Bakit meron nito? Inintroduce yan sa train law. Okay? Before wala yan. Kasi this is already related sa business tax. Okay? Which will be discussed in transfer tax and business tax lesson. Let's move on the, on the 8% optional income tax. Dito papasok yung train law. Okay? Binigay ng train law yan. Okay? Sino ba yan? Para saan ba yan? Okay? The option to be taxed at 8% must be indicated actually in the first regular income tax return. Okay? Doon sa first quarter mo. Or in the first quarterly filing ng percentage tax return. Tatandaan, pag pinili mo to, it will be irrevocable for one calendar year. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi pwede yung mabago for that calendar year. Pero... Meron tayong tinatawag na invalidation dyan. Okay? Didiscuss ko yan. So, ano ba yung nature? Okay? Punta tayo dun sa nature. Nature ng 8%. Okay? Meron kasing tinatawag na bundled tax. Ibig sabihin actually, itong 8% na yan is in lieu. Okay? Ibig sabihin, in replacement sa regular income tax. Hindi ka na regular income tax. Okay? Hindi ka nagagamit dyan ng tax table. Okay? Second, ito yung actually, yung 3% na OPP. Hindi ka na rin masasubject sa 3%. Okay? Kasi sa 8% na yung pinili mo. Now, second nature ng 8% optional income tax is the annual option. Okay, ano ibig sabihin ng annual option? Di ba nga sinabi natin, during the calendar year, no? Pagka nagpumili ka sa 8%, then that full year. Pero, this will only be valid for the taxpayer as long as he or she remain a non-bat taxpayer during the year. Ibig sabihin, tatandaan, di ba meron tayong 3 million threshold, okay, sa bat taxpayer, Okay? Pag umabot ka na sa 3 million and more, you will be subjected to BAT. Correct? So, this invalidates. Okay? Invalidated in favor of the regular income tax. Then, you will become a BAT taxpayer during the year, hindi na sa 8%. Okay? BAT ka na. Okay? Kaya related siya sa business tax. Okay? And then last, nature niya is quarterly payments or annually. Okay? Yan yung nature ng 8% optional income tax. Okay? Para kanino ba naman yan? Ano yung scope niyan? Okay? Kasi ang masasakop niyan is yung pure business or professional income earner. Okay? So alam mo na naman yan. Nagbigay ako ng example niyan in the previous modules. Yung mga proportional income earners, yung mga nagpa-practice ng audit, okay, may-ari ka ng sarili mong auditing firm, maliit ka pa lang, nag-uumpisa ka pa lang, papasok ka dyan, okay? Meron din naman para sa mixed income earner yan, okay? For example, ako, okay, mixed income earner ako, bakit? Okay, accountant na ako, Pagkatapos, may sideline. Ang sideline ko is photography studio. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, meron akong compensation income at meron akong business income. So, ang pinili ko is yung 8%. Okay? Yung business ko will be subjected to the 8%. And then, yung compensation income ko as an accountant will be subjected to the regular income tax. Okay? So, yun yung pinaka- uh, concepts ng 8% optional income tax. Okay, so again, hold on. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.